Uh, live here in GRA Port Harcourt. Now, originally we were supposed to be at the INEC head office on Abar Road, but uh, the place has been blocked. The traffic is so heavy, it extends from INEC up till Eliuzu and beyond. Um, when we got to GRA Junction, we saw smashed vehicles, we saw heavy security presence, we saw a lot of people struggling to control traffic. You know, it was basically chaos um the apc governorship candidate in the just concluded election uh pastor tony cole was supposed to be at INEC office today to get uh, certified true copies of the documents he's going to use to prosecute his case unfortunately that did not happen but i'm being joined right now by uh, pastor tony cole uh, good day sir so um <laughs> Charles, how are you? what's what's going on how, how has it been you know first and foremost uh we are supposed to be in a democracy. And one of the tenets of a democracy is that after an election, INEC being supposedly an uh, impartial umpire will have documents, and these documents are available to everybody who participated in the election. These are critical documents with which we will take to an electoral tribunal. We will build our case upon that to the electoral tribunal. Friday, last week, Today, Friday, we were at INEC. We asked for these documents. They have not given us a single one. We said that we were coming back today. Because we said we were coming back today, and we said it on live TV, and we said it openly, PDP organized thugs everywhere to prevent us from getting to INEC office. I wasn't deterred. And so I went with my party chairman, the woman leader, the youth leader, official, senior officials of APC to INEC. They had barricaded the road from GRA Junction. Everywhere, boys, girls, full, all smoking the boat. So, um, you, on your way to the INEC office, on your way to the INEC office, what was your experience with the people who had blocked the way? So the first thing was that they began to assault me. They came out, a woman grabbed my shirt, then they began to pull me, pull me from the back, started throwing, first they were using water and all of that, then they began to throw food, and the next minute they started throwing stones. Next thing after that, we started hearing gunshots. It took my security people to forcefully evict me. In the throwing of the stones, they destroyed our vehicles and they injured me. There's a huge bomb here. You can see this, camera. You can see that. You can see this. You can see that. What, what, what happened to you there? I was hit by a stone. I was hit by a stone. They slapped me. They punched me. They pulled my shirt. They dragged me and then threw stones at me until I was injured at the back. Okay. Have you made contact with the, the commissioner of police? My people have been talking to them. They came, we're right now, so we left there and we came to the APC Secretariat, which should be a safe zone. As soon as we got here, the next thing, we saw groups of PDP thugs coming, escorted by police. Escorted by police, and they're armed. The groups there are armed. They started shooting outside the APC office. So my own uh, personal security force came out. They said I should go inside, and I said, no, I'm not going inside. We have to stand here so that everybody can see what's going on. So there was shooting, and right now you can still see that they're arguing. The, and the argument is between two sections of the police force. Why? So now that you have not succeeded in getting the certified true copies of the documents you've requested from INEC, what is your next line of action? So I'm told that they will be there today, tomorrow, until Friday. They have been paid 15,000 naira a day, which we did investigation to find out so that they can come and mobilize and prevent us from getting CTCs. Now, it's no coincidence that by that day, by Friday, we will be out of time. We will not be able to file. We will not be able to get documents. They are trying to prevent us from filing. So I am escalating this to INEC National. I'm escal escalating it to the IGP of police, escalating it. Tribunal cannot hold in River State. It is obvious that it's too dangerous. INEC, in, uh, INEC National must request for the CTCs and bring them so that we can have them. It's our right. It's our all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, that is the situation. That is the situation on ground here. Uh, a lot of tempers are flaring. Emotions are on the rise. Tension is in the air. Um, when we were coming here, there was a line of uh, people on the other side and in between there was security you know some some policemen some officials of the dss sort of preventing the guys on the other side from making contact with the people here but that is the situation here at the all progressives congress river state secretariat we'll continue to bring you updates as they break
but from Port Harcourt, River State Capital, Charles, Upper Room, Channels Television News.